Hi, so in this video again we are going to solve two problems based on average. So first problem as you can see I have already noted now. Problem is the average of A and B is 50. That means A plus B by 2 is 50 or you can say A plus B is equal to 100 if I cross multiply. B and C is 43. So the average of B and C that means B plus C by 2 is 43 or you can say B plus C is 43 multiplied by 2 that is 86 and A and C is 45 that means A plus C by 2 is equal to 45 or you can say A plus C is 90. So let me call this as equation number 1, this as equation number 2 and this one as equation number 3. So we have to find the average of A, B and C. This is A plus B is equal to 100. This is B plus C equal to 86 and this is A plus C equal to 90. And if you see properly in these equations, A appears twice, both are positive. B also appears twice, both of them are also positive and C also appears twice and both times it is positive. So if I add equation number 1, 2 and 3, the left hand side will give me 2 times A plus B plus C is equal to 0 plus 6 plus 0, 6, 8 plus 9, 17, 7 and 1 plus 1, 2. And what we have to find? We have to find the average of A, B and C. That means we have to find A plus B plus C by 3. So from here, A plus B plus C will be equal to 276 divided by 2. 2 1s are 2, 2 3s are 6, 2 8s are 16 which is equal to 138. So if I want to find the average of A, B and C, I have to divide both sides by 3. So A plus B plus C by 3 will be equal to 138 by 3. This will be equal to 3 4s are 12 and 3 6s are 18. So the average of A, B and C will be equal to 46. And now let's take one more question. So we have one more problem. This is slightly difficult, slightly tricky, I would say. So the problem statement here is Mira needs to score perfect 100 in her last mathematics test to improve her average from 84 to 86. How many mathematics tests she has to write in a year? So suppose she has to write total X number of tests. If she has to write total X number of tests, that means till now, she has written x minus 1 number of tests and her average is 84. That means sum of x minus 1 marks divided by x minus 1 is equal to 84. Her average before the last test is 84 and if she scores 100 in her last test, her average becomes 86. And after writing the last test, total score will be sum of x minus 1 marks plus 100 the score in the last test divided by x the total number of tests and here the average is 86. So from here the sum of x minus 1 marks is equal to 84 multiplied by x minus 1 if I cross multiply and if I substitute this over here the second equation can be written as 84 multiplied by x minus 1 plus 100 divided by x is equal to 86. And here also if I cross multiply then this will become 84 multiplied by x minus 1 plus 100 is equal to 86x or 84x minus 84 plus 100 is equal to 86x. Let me bring this to this side of the equal to sign then this will become 100 minus 84 is 16 and this will be 86 x minus 84 x or 86 x minus 84 x is 2 x is equal to 16 or you can say x is equal to 8. So the total number of tests she is writing is 8. So this was the second problem, slightly tricky, not very difficult. It is very easy to solve. So that's all for this video. And in next video, we are going to learn how to find the average speed. So keep watching MathSmart and bye-bye till then.